Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use IFM maintenance tool to configure a can open device. But for this, uh, we need a couple of things uh, beforehand. Firstly, the maintenance tool software, which you can download from our IFM website uh, from the download area. So usually the download area is under service. You click on downloads, it brings you to this page, and then you click on mobile machines. And under mobile machines, if you go to section 1.3, you have the latest maintenance tool software always here. So please download and install this software as the first step. Then the next step would be to have the IFM CanFox cable, which is EC2112 and 2113. Please note that uh, in order to make any changes on a CanOpen device using IFM maintenance tool, you need to have an IFM CanFox cable, which are these two parts, EC2112 and EC2113. All right, so the next step after you've installed maintenance tool, if you just cl double click on the maintenance tool icon, it should open up this window. Then the next step is right click on Ecomat Mobile, load add in, select can, and then click on add. This should now add it under Ecomat Mobile, the can part. Make sure that you've got CanFox uh, selected here. Then the next step is right click on can, uh, then select load add in. Now select can utility, then click on add. Once you've added this, just single click on can utility. First step to go to settings. Now you have to make sure that whatever can open device you want to configure, you match that baud rate, the default baud rate. So in my case, I'm configuring an IFM inclinometer, which is the JN2100. And I have set it up previously at 250, so I make sure that it is 250. And then the next step now is to click on SDO access. And in this SDO access, you need to make sure that the node ID matches the node ID of the device you want to configure. So in my case, the JN2100 is set up at node ID 11. So this is in decimal. Now the next step, I click on open EDS files. So this basically we require to point it to the respective EDS file for uh, the device you want to configure. So usually for an IFM, uh, product, we have the EADS files under this location. And here I will find the JN21XX EDS file. I will click on open and then it brings up all the object dictionary under here as you can see. Now the next step as an example if I want to now change the node ID from 11 to 10, all I need to do is select on this particular sub index and sub index. It populates up here. So firstly, I can just select and click on read. And if my node ID and the baud rate are the same, it should populate with the result. Now you see that value there is in hexadecimal, obviously. So you can see that it is set up at 11. Now, say I want to change it to node ID 10 in decimal. I just delete in the value window and enter my value 10. And I write it now. It's been written successfully. And if I want to make sure now that I have written the value successfully, I just click on read. And you can see the value has been changed. But this value will only take effect after you've done a power cycle on the respective CAN device. So basically this way you can change uh, any of those indexes and sub-indexes where you have a write, read, write access. IFM, close to you.